वेलकम फर्स्ट वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज बायोवर्डन टेस्टिंग बायोवर्डन टेस्टिंग डिटरमाइंस द टोटल वायबल काउंट ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन रॉ मटेरियल्स इन प्रोसेस मटेरियल्स और फिनिश प्रोडक्ट्स रेफरेंस यूएसपी चैप्टर वन टू टू सेवन सिक्सटी वन एंड सिक्सटी टू Why biovarden testing is important? Biovarden testing ensures microbial control in manufacturing processes and compliance with regulatory standards. Reference USP Chapter Number One 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 FDS CGMP Twenty One CFR Two Double One Point One One Three B. What are the common methods for biovarden testing? Membrane filtration, direct inoculation, and pore plate methods are commonly used methods for biovarden testing. Reference USP Chapter Sixty One. What is the sample size required for biovarden testing? Sample size depends on product type, but typically one gram or one mL is tested. Reference USP Chapter Number Sixty One and Seventy One. How should equipment and tools be prepared for biovarden sampling? All tools must be sterilized and validated to prevent introducing contaminants. Reference USP Chapter One Two Two Seven and ISO Double One Seven Three Seven Dash One. What media are used for biovarden testing? Triptych soy agar that is TSA and Sabarod dextrose agar that is SDA are standard for bacteria and fungi. Reference USP Chapter sixty one. What is MLT or microbial limit test? A microbial limit test or MLT is a biovarden test that assesses the safety of a pharmaceutical product by determining the number and type of microorganisms present. What are two different phases of MLT or microbial limit test? The MLT is a two-part procedure that includes a quantitative phase and a qualitative phase. Quantitative phase determines the total number of aerobic organisms as well as total yeast and mold count, whereas qualitative phase determines the presence or absence of specific objectionable organisms. What incubation conditions are used for biovarden testing? Incubation at 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for bacteria and 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for fungi for 5 to 7 days. Reference USP Chapter Number 61. What precautions are necessary to avoid false positives during sampling? Use aseptic techniques, minimize environmental exposure, and verify sample container sterility. Reference. USP Chapter Triple One Six and UGMP Annex One. What is the significance of biovarden limits? Biovarden limits help to prevent product contamination and ensure process control. Reference USP Chapter Number Four Times One and ICHQ Seven. How is the method validated for biovarden testing? Validation includes recovery efficiency, specificity, and limit of detection. Reference USP Chapter Number One Two Two Seven. What are the acceptance criteria for biovarden testing? Criteria depends on the dosage form. Typically, less than ten cfu. Cfu stands for colony forming units per mL for WFI, and less than hundred cfu per gram for non-sterile products. Reference. USP Chapter Number Four Times One. How are biovarden test results documented? Results are recorded in CFU per unit. CFU stands for colony forming units and reviewed for compliance with limits. Reference FDS CGMP Twenty One CFR Two Double One One Ninety Four. What are the key considerations for sampling in biovarden testing? Samples should represent the entire batch. Avoid contamination and be collected aseptically. Reference WHO TRS. TRS stands for Technical Report Series 961 Annex 2 and ISO 14644-1. How is the biovarden testing method controlled to ensure accuracy? Perform positive and negative controls to validate media and detect potential contamination. Reference USP Chapter Number 61 and 62. What factors influence the recovery efficiency in biovarden testing? Recovery is affected by sample type, microorganism adherence, and the chosen method. Example: filtration or dilution. Reference: USP Chapter Number One Two Two Seven and ISO Double One Seven Three Seven Dash One. Very important question: Which guidelines are commonly referred for biovarden testing in pharmaceutical industry? 
यूएस पी चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी टू वन डबल टू सेवन आर कॉमनली रेफर्ड आईसो गाइडलाइन नंबर डबल वन सेवन थ्री सेवन डैश वन यू जी एम पी अनेक्स वन एंड डब्ल्यू एच ओ टी आर एस नाइन सिक्सटी वन अनेक्स टू आर कॉमनली रेफर्ड गाइडलाइंस फॉर बायोबर्डन टेस्टिंग इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू आवर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री